if we have a diaphragm seal and we take a gauge, you'll notice that there is a hole in the side of this gauge. It has a ball and a, and a check screw in it. They take that out. You screw the gauge on top, not by hand, using a wrench, nice and tight. So now you have a fill, uh, sealed system between the inside of the tube and the top of the diaphragm. <coughs> They then take and they pull a vacuum. They take the ball out, they hook this up to a vacuum pump, and they start using the vacuum pump and they extract all the air out of that enclosed cavity between the upper part of the diaphragm and the board on tube. Once the air is all taken out, they shut the valve off for the vacuum pump and they open a valve which is connected to the fluid that's going to go in it. What happens to a vacuum when you open it up and it's in a pure vacuum state? What happens? Yeah, that's, that's exactly what happens, that noise. Have you ever opened a jar of pickles and you open it and you hear it? What is that noise? That noise is the air rushing into the jar because you have extracted all the air out. It's not the straw and you're sucking the uh, It was some other dude. Juice out. <laughs> <laughs> So what's going to happen is the vacuum or the void wants to be filled. So the minute you open it up from the vacuum pump to the fill fluid, the fill fluid is going to rush in and totally fill that void. Then what they'll do is they'll put the check ball and screw back in and now you have a sealed system. As the pressure goes up against the diaphragm and it flexes, it pushes that fluid then transmitting and you get the displacement of the board on tube just like we looked at before. But notice, it's got to be filled with an incompressible fluid. I've had people say, oh, just sew me the gauge and the diaphragm, we'll put them together ourselves. Well, that should be a red light. You say, okay, do you have the ability to pull a vacuum and do all this stuff? And they go, no, we're just screwing them together. Well, That's the problem is, what happens to air when you push on it? It compresses, right? So if the air compresses, there's going to be no resistance to the thin diaphragm. What happens when you put 100 PSI on that thin diaphragm? You're going to pierce it. So what happens is when they do that, now it doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't work. I broke the diaphragm. You've got to jump. Well, that's because they didn't do it the proper way. <laughs>